Hello. Today, uh, in this lesson, I want to show you one more time uh, what we can do when we are using uh, Operation Blitzkrieg. We will see from white perspective. So, uh, again, first we need to, to divide the board. So, we need to take a look uh, how many pieces from white side and from black side are on which side and um, to decide where we want to attack. In this case, we don't have what we have usually, and that is uh, space advantage on the king side, because, yes, we should attack on the king side, but we have one uh, pawn. This is isolate, isolate pawn, and uh, he gave us already some space advantage. When, uh, when we have, or the side who has uh, that uh, uh, isolate pawn, uh, we can consider that that side has... Um, more space and with more space you have more activity how because you can put your pieces on better place and when you put naturally uh, your pieces on better place that means that you have more uh, activity because your pieces will control more space and as you can see in this case also we have a bishop on c4 who is really active and this bishop uh, we didn't develop him yet but we will see uh, black played, the last move from black was knight from b to d7 and idea with that move is knight b6 and then knight d5. The best blockade piece uh, in uh, in theory is the knight, so we should put the knight in front of the pawn and then that knight, not only that he will close uh, the bishop, uh, he will be also uh, really active because he's in the center of the board. Uh, so uh, the, the, for white the time is running low, we need to do something quick. And this is, uh, again, a moment for Operation Blitzkrieg because we already put our pieces probably in the best place, in this case, where we can put them, and uh, we have a chance for something here. And that is why uh, try to pause the video and then to try to find uh, the best move here for white. Um, okay, so white played here, bishop takes on h6. Something uh, what Black, of course, didn't expect, and uh, if he doesn't take, of course, he will stay without one pawn, so let's see what will happen if he takes that. So G takes on H6, and then uh, one more tempo move, so what is uh, how is important to play all the time when you start uh, with Operation Blitzkrieg to play with tempo. So everything must be forcing variation because not only that you are limiting uh, possibility of what, what can happen in that game, not only that uh, it's so important to be fast in, in, your, in your combination. You can do that only if you're playing tempo moves. So queen g6, and in that way black won't, uh, won't be able to move his uh, pieces what he wants to play. Uh, maybe, for example, this knight could go somewhere and then uh, to open the bishop, or I don't know, maybe to move the rook and then to involve the bishop in the game, which is also could be uh, maybe good for black. But he he's not able to do that because we are constantly uh, put something on pressure. In this case, the king, so the king is un under check, so he needs to move the king. So king h8. And then queen h6, we capture the pawn with tempo. Uh, now black can play uh, knight h7, but this is not a good move because we can play uh, here uh, queen takes on uh, on d6 and uh, we not only that we return material, we have two pawns more and the king, black king is open. So this could be uh, just uh, good for white, nothing else. Uh, that is why not knight h7. Instead of that, black returns the king, uh, returns the king on g8, and then we can activate the knight. Like in the previous, what we saw, uh, the knight should go on g5. This is so important square for the knight, and now we have some pressure on f7, and the queen is already on good place. So soon uh, we should uh, completely crush black pieces. Then bishop f4. Black wants to exchange that good knight. And this is usually, theoretically speaking, good thing. So uh, always when you have some problem with some enemy pieces uh, who is bothering you, try to exchange that piece for some of your pieces. Of course, try to be with the same uh, material, of course. Uh, so knight from c to e4, we want to replace this knight with another knight, which is practically, practically good thing for white. Uh, also white, uh, black can't capture here because then we have queen h7 checkmate. So practically this knight on f6 is uh, pinned. Uh, so knight takes, uh, bishop takes on g5, then knight takes on, on g5. We have totally the same position, 
like what we had before and then knight b6 uh, tempo move maybe for black because he wants to close that it's so important to close that diagonal but then we can play queen g6 queen g6 and after queen g6 the game is over because check and in the next move we can capture this pawn on f7 so king uh, h8 and then bishop f7 we're threatening queen h6 queen h7 checkmate because the knight must go on f h7 and then that will be checkmate black can't defend that so this was so short variation it's easy to to calculate uh, when you see first move bishop h6 uh, one more time we are using uh, uh, operation blitzkrieg for some uh, important things and that is to take some more material instead what we uh, what we gave or to give checkmate in this case that will be checkmate because black king can't escape for example he can sacrifice the rook but then knight f7 will be checkmate not that we will capture the queen that will be checkmate okay if you like my video please subscribe and then see you in the next video bye bye